Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over how to make chat tags like you saw in the preview at the start of the video. They're going to be completely customizable, any color you want. And we're also going to be do colored chat as well as tags. Um, in today's example, we're going to be using game passes. So if the user earns a game pass, it will give them that tag. And other than that, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to the server script service and create a script. And let's delete the default code here. And the first thing I'm going to do is make a variable to define the chat service. Now, the chat service isn't actually built into Roblox as a service. So we're going to have to use require here to require it. And then we're going to do game dot service script service. And then we're going to use wait for child to let it load in. And we're going to be defining the service chat server runner service runner. And then from there, we're going to just get the chat service. Now, it's maybe really confusing code because it actually pretty much is. Uh, to simplify this, we're using require here to get a module script, which is the chat service. And all we're doing is going to the service script service, which is this over here. And then we're waiting for a script called chat service runner to appear. Now, it doesn't show in studio, but when you go press play, um, it'll, Roblox loads that in for you. From there, we're actually going to define a proper service which is marketplace service, which we're going to be using to uh, check for game passes and things like that. So game, get service, marketplace service. And then from there we can continue. So what I'm going to do is uh, actually use our chat service here. And then we're going to use the speaker added event. And then we're going to create a function with that. And it's actually going to return us a speaker. Now the speaker is just pretty much the player's name. So we're going to actually overwrite that variable with a new one called speaker. We're going to reference chat service again, and then we're going to use get speaker speaker. Now that might be a, a bit confusing to newer people, but pretty much what we're doing here to simplify it again, get in the chat service, and then we're using the inbuilt function get speaker, and we're plugging the player's name. So if I join the game, it will put 50 alpha in here and return back the speaker. From there, we can get the player, which will be speaker get player because that has an inbuilt function itself which is get player and then we can plug the speaker into that and it'll return us our player so if we went if we went and wrote uh, print player dot let's say display name it'll print the display name or we did player dot name it'll just print their username user id all of that works it's pretty much a normal uh, player object or instance and then from there we're actually going to check if the user earns the game pass so if marketplace service user earns game pass and sync and then player dot user id and then the id now i already have my own game pass all you have to do is plug in a code make sure you don't plug in my one plug in um whatever game pass you have made and then from there rewrite then so pretty much what we're doing here is if they um are in this game pass we're going to run any code which uh, within lines let's say 9 to 14 yeah so anything that's inside this indent, it's going to run. So let's actually create our tags. We're going to create a table. And inside there, we're going to create another table, which will store the data. Let's do tag text equals, let's say, VIP. And then let's do tag color. And then we can use the color free uh, object. And then in there, we can do whatever color we want. Now, a quick tip, if you click the little color wheel here, you can choose whatever you call, uh, color you want. I already have uh, colors I want to use, so I'm just going to type them in manually, which is like an orange. And then we're going to make sure you have this comma here. We're going to copy, uh, paste this onto the next line, and let's add another tag. Let's say developer tag. And once again, I already have predefined colors here, but I'm just going to plug in. Use the color wheel if you want. Nice. Now, this is completely expandable. You can keep on adding tags to the users. Uh, but I'm just going to leave it out there for now. And then from there, we can define or reference our speaker again, sorry. And then we're going to use set extra data to the tags. And then we're going to give them the tags that we just made. And then here is optional if you want to change the color of the chat. So not the name, but when the player actually talks, their message will be colored. And to do that, we do use set extra data, chat color. And another color free object. And once again, I've predefined colors. Do whatever you want. And like that. So now what we have is a VIP tag, 
which is orange, a developer tag, which is blue, and then the chat is actually a lighter blue. And then from there, we can click play and we should be done. You can see here, I can say hi, welcome, and I've got the tags and my chat is blue. Now if I want to change this, let's say to a uh, ready, yeah, you know, let's just go straight red. Okay, click play, and we just wait until we load in here. Now, if I type hello, and you see my chat is red, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Like and subscribe. Bye.